International Seating Symposium is where mobility manufacturers come to showcase the latest innovations in wheelchair seating technology. This year, Quantum Rehab unveiled its new Edge 2 Power Chair with eye-level power adjustable seat lift. With eye-level, the chair can safely drive at speeds up to 3.5 miles per hour while at 10 inches of elevation. Here's what industry professionals at ISS had to say about the Edge 2 and its new technology. The experience with the eye level was absolutely amazing. It was very stable, it was very comfortable, and when I wanted to stop, I could stop on a dime, and the chair was absolutely perfect and smooth. It was very comfortable. Um, I felt more secure being up higher, um, being able to be closer to eye level, like you would normally be walking with the chair. It was great. Drove great, and uh, you know, the wheels and everything were really nice when I drove it, nice and smooth. I would say the experience was good in terms of being able to be up and at a level that you could actually see what was going around with you, but maintaining a speed that would be typical of what you would expect walking around with your peers. The Edge 2 is eye level ready and comes standard with new 6 mile per hour motors. The chair's advanced performance and stability were major points of discussion at ISS. Yeah, it was a funny experience since uh, you were expecting to fall forwards, but it never happened. You were moving more forwards by yourself than by the chair. That was quite amazing. Yeah, the other thing was when, we, when you were driving as a normal wheelchair, you really noticed the new motor without delays and, and reacting to the joystick very fast. So. That was quite a cool. None of the other power chairs that I had driven thus far have been able to offer the same stability. For example, even going down a ramp, using my eye level, I'm able to stop and stop comfortably without having to change the way that I was sitting or leaning forward to compensate. Three miles an hour this high up is a lot quicker than people think that it really is. It doesn't sound like it's that fast. And stability, it's always important. <laughs> it's always important. I feel more stable up than I do down flat on the ground. There's so much less flex in the suspension. Well, I'm quite impressed with it. Um, it is quite a machine, and I like the part where you can lean forward and not fall, even on a steep incline. It's really, 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 and you drive three, three miles an hour? Wow, that's impressive. I am impressed. In addition to its stability, Edge 2 offers push button elevation on the move, courtesy of eye level. The ability to elevate and drive at the same time was a big hit at this year's ISS. Well, I could get moving forward as the elevation happened, and that I didn't have to wait to elevate and then go, which means you don't get, to, you know, your friends have to wait on you, or you have to wait to get to your next task. You can elevate as you go. It has a system where you can go down automatically while you're driving. Wow, that technology is, is really, really, really advanced. I really like it. I actually watched somebody earlier, I didn't get to do it, but the way, another thing I liked was the way it was set up when you're driving and you hit it to go down, as it hits a certain level, it, it goes to full speed. You don't have to sit and hit the button and wait to go all the way down and then drive, so it would be great for a user. The Edge 2 was noted not only for its advanced performance features, but also for the social and lifestyle benefits it can offer power chair users with eye level. This is a pretty significant seat elevator in comparison to some of the others on the market, which is really nice. Um, you can walk and talk, which is something you can't do at a typical speed, which is really solid. I'll go with that. Go with that. <laughs> Currently, I have to raise and lower a number of times to fix a cup of coffee between the coffee pot and the refrigerator. This way I could just drive back and forth elevated. A cooking, being able to reach stuff without burning yourself is crucial. Even with the setup, you're not able to get above a stove or anything like that with eye level. Now you are able to reach over without having a risk of burning yourself. I think everybody would like to be at eye level and be able to look out the window and be able to reach things and, you know, yes. <laughs> From my perspective, it mainly comes down to safety, being able to get around and see what's going on in your environment so that it's easier for you to get around and maneuver, especially in, in crowded situations. It's nice for them to be able to be like at that eye level where they feel like they're actually like part of the same conversation that they were before rather than um, 
you know, feeling like they're lower than the other people are. When ISS attendees were asked why they thought this new technology would offer such a vast lifestyle improvement, the answer was simple. Most of life happens at eye level. It's a standing world, uh, so anybody that's sitting in a wheelchair would love to be eye level with their peers from social standpoint, functional standpoint, light switches are at eye levels, counters are at eye level, everything's at average heights. So I think people in wheelchairs should get the same opportunities. The world is set for folks that are going to be average at height. this height, right. and um, I've got a lot of friends that are wheelchair users, and they're, you know, are used to it, but you're looking table height. You know, you gotta have your elbows way above your head to get to the table, and this is this gives you the ability to go to a high top of the bar. That's what you're into. You know, um, get out, go to the stadium, stand up when other people do, and not be stuck down below. It's, it's just a really cool opportunity. All in all, the Edge 2 seemed to leave a lasting impression at this year's ISS.